Hi guys, Righteous Rama here, bringing you your dose of truth for the day, and that is this. Stop trying to influence the outcome. Let it be what it will be. Let it be. My boss from my old job, she gave me a bracelet that said, let it be. It was the best thing you could tell me as a control freak. Let it be. <laughs> um, if you're an anxious type person, controlling type person, you want to know what it's going to end up being. You want to know what it's going to be. You have a hard time just trusting that what is meant for you will be for you. Now, of course, you got to put work in. You got to do a little work. You can't just let everything just, just leave up the chance. You do have to work some things. But a lot of times, you all, there's some things that are not meant for us that we try to manipulate to make it go the way we want it to go. So, for example, let's say a person says, I don't like when somebody, or let's say, I don't like people that drink. I don't like people. I don't want a dated person that smokes or drinks right. Now, you know that you smoke and drink, you have no intent to uh, stop smoking and to stop smoking and drinking. But what you do is you just try to hide it and hide it and hide it and hide it and minimize it and deny it. You're trying to control how this person sees you and receives you. But that's manipulation. If you're not going to change, all that means that this person is not your person, okay? If a person wants somebody who has naturally long, pretty, wavy hair and your hair don't grow like that, you can keep getting perms or you want, you keep wearing weaves, all the things, lace fronts, but you're trying to control the outcome. This person naturally would not be drawn to you, would not naturally want you, but you're trying to control the outcome. When someone sees you in your current state, they have a right to choose you or not choose you. Am I, am I right? Am I wrong? If someone does not want what you have to offer, they're not your person. But if you're a manipulative person, you would try to go out of your way to change a person's will. And God does not do that with us. God does not try to change your will. God gives you a choice. He gives you a choice. Like he gave Adam and Eve in the garden. And he lets you choose right or wrong. Now, when you make that choice, right or wrong, it will influence your other choice possibilities, okay? So when Adam and Eve did eat from the tree of the, the knowledge of good and evil, it did make them lose their access to the tree of life. So sometimes your choice is what you choose. It can limit you from making another choice. But God does not force your hand to choose here or to choose there. God does not make you do anything you don't want to do, okay? He may limit your future choices, but God does not force your hand to do anything. And you all, we must be the same way, you all. We cannot force people to do something that they do not want to do. And essentially, that is witchcraft. That is being a witch. That is being manipulative. If someone says, you know, I don't like you, and you go off and get spells and go to voodoo, voodoo priestesses and doctors and they make a little love potion and you i heard some women they bury men's underwear in their backyard and they make the man always come home yeah that's manipulation that's being a witch um i've heard some women do something with their spaghetti i'm gonna leave it there they do something with their spaghetti and they give it to the man that they want and so y'all that's manipulation that's trying to control the outcome the man naturally would not have chosen them the man was meant for somebody else but they tried to manipulate control the outcomes by using witchcraft and whatnot some people don't go to those extremes, but some people try to control the outcome by um crying, you know, manipulating. You don't love me, you don't care about me, nobody loves me, everybody who I ever, whoever I ever love, they all end up leaving me. Uh, you know, it's like you're trying to manipulate somebody's decision with with tears. Or you say, well, unless you know now, if you do that decision, you're gonna you're gonna be sorry, you're gonna regret that. That's trying to control the outcome. If a person wants to leave you, let them go. Don't try to control the outcome. The door should always be open. Don't ever lock the door. When someone wants to leave you, the door should be wide open. You know, I will personally walk you out the door. <laughs> I will never try to force someone to be somewhere they do not want to be because God doesn't do that. God does not do that. If most high God, creator, sustainer of the universe, creator of all mankind, does not force someone to do something, to choose him, well, how would you do it? God's not a witch. He wants people who want him. So he gave Adam and Eve the choice to choose if they want to eat from tree or not. He told them not to do it, but he gave them the choice. They chose to do it. So that's how you know someone really wants you is when you give them a choice. You don't manipulate, don't threaten. Man, my big brother beat you up if you leave me, or I'm going to do witchcraft on you, or I'm going to get you fired, or I'm going to put you on child support, and, you know, all these things. You're trying to control the outcome you are. I'm telling you all, when you do that, it's going to be a lifelong uphill battle for you. You're going to have to do this for the rest of the relationship, for the rest of the time. You want people to choose you because they love you, okay? Some of y'all's children only listen to y'all because Christmas is coming up and birthdays. 
They don't respect you. They don't like you. They don't, they don't want to be around you. But they deal with you because you get them stuff on Christmas and birthdays. The chat, like, why would you want somebody around you? I mean, I'm not a mother. I can't speak of that. I'm not a parent. But to want somebody around you who doesn't want to be around you, who doesn't fool with you, who don't like you, who don't deal with you, that's crazy. Your friends don't want to hang out with you because you pay for all the drinks when you go out. They, uh, You pay for all the vacations when you go out. You're with people. You're trying to influence the outcome by using your gifts, your money, your wows, your charms. Um, some women, they try to dress provocatively. When a man wants to leave them, they put on some frequent dress, go to his house, knock on the door. Um, or they may post a provocative picture on social media, trying to control the outcome. You all, whatever is meant for you is going to be coming towards you, not running from you. If, it's, if, if you're chasing it, it's running from you. <laughs> if you're chasing it, it's running from you. If it's running from you and not to you, it don't want you. It's not yours, Okay. So I want you all to just learn to let go of things, things that are not meant for you. And sometimes you all, it's meant for you, but just not right now. And I, I can, I'll tell you all a little secret, a little hint, a little trick. Don't chase what you want. Become, grow, become, evolve into what you want chases you. Don't chase what you want. Become until what you want chases you, until it pursues you. An example I heard, it was Apostle Joshua Silman, he said, like, you don't call paparazzi. Hey, I'm over here. I'm over here shopping. Come see me, paparazzi. He said, you become you become so influential and such a celebrity, for example, that paparazzi comes and checks you out. You don't call paparazzi. Hey, come find me. I'm over here at the mall. Come, come find me. Come, come put me on camera. Put, come put me on TMZ tonight. No, you become a celebrity and then publicity will come chasing you down, hunting you down. If Kylie Jenner don't wear makeup, they're coming for her. They're going to come down. Uh, um, I think Cardi B didn't have makeup on one time at the airport. They came there and watched her and made her the news because she didn't have makeup on. She didn't go call the paparazzi. She became so influential until paparazzi pursued her. So the same thing with you all, ladies and men. If you want somebody, don't chase them. Men can chase women, but women, you can't chase men. Women, if you want somebody, don't chase them. Become so undeniable. Become so irresistible in yourself. Not for him, but just become your best self. To what you want comes to you. Be your best self. Don't do it for him. Don't do it for nobody else. Be your best self for yourself. Become your best self. Work on your best. Get your teeth fixed. Get your hair done. Get your nails done. Get your lashes done. Get your body together. Get your skin together. Just be. Just become. And you'll start to see things that, that you once had to pursue come to you. But you don't have to influence the outcome. You're not doing it to get them to get their attention. You're doing it because you want to be your best self. And then some of y'all are going to find out that what you used to want, you don't want it no more. That's going to be the crazy part. What you thought you wanted when you were at a lower level of yourself, when you become who you're supposed to be in God, you're going to be like, what was I thinking? Why would I want that kind of guy? Why would I want that kind of woman? Why would I want that kind of job? Why would I want the, those kind of friends? It'll only happen once you become. Do not chase. Do not control the outcomes. Do not manipulate, do not use witchcraft, do not cry, do not do pity parties, do not try to get people fired, don't try to sue them and all these crazy things, try to get back at, at people who don't want you. Become, you know, if you believe in, you know, the big old planet Jupiter having such a strong pool, they say it has how many moons they say Jupiter has? It didn't get those moons because it just begged for moons to come to it. They say this gravitational pull is so strong that moons, moons that may be meant for another planet, they became magnetized to the gravitational pull of Jupiter. <laughs> they they couldn't come, they couldn't help but to come. You know, this becomes so influential, so undeniable, so irresistible, not for people, but for yourself. The things that are meant for you will come to you. They will come to you. Because you'll be you'll be irresistible, like paparazzi. Um, like, you know. Fans, if you're a really good singer, you get a lot of fans that come to your concert. If you're a really good writer, you'll be on New York's bestseller. You'll get a lot of book sales. It's like you're not trying to do it to get those people. You're just becoming your best self. You're fulfilling your purpose in God. But if you're doing it for God, he will bless it, and people will come your way. So that's a tip for you all. Just become your best self for yourself, for God, and to help people for the glory of God, and things will come to you. Thank you guys for watching. Please share and subscribe to Rice's Grandma. Bye-bye.